Dear students, in this unit, we will talk about the green and red algae. As you are aware that uh, the plants, they are multicellular, they are eukaryotic, and they are photosynthetic autotrophs. So just like the plants, red algae and green algae, they are also photosynthetic autotrophs. They have the same composition just like the plants. They have cell wall which is made up of cellulose just like the plant cells have. And also their chloroplast, they have chlorophyll A and B. So this plant chlorophyll A and B is also present in the red and green algae. So they are, they are supposed to be, and they, in the phylogenetic analysis, they are the ancestors of plants. So the green algae is mostly found in fresh water. They are usually attached to the rocks or some other thing which is present in the water. And they are also present as floating on the stagnant water. So uh, when you find fresh water, stagnant water in summer, you will see a layer of a green layer on the surface of the water. That is because of green algae. When we talk about the phylogenetic analysis of algae, we will find that green algae resembles with the higher plants. These are the higher plants and the phylogeny of this green algae resembles with the higher plants. So we can say that the green algae is the ancestors of plant species. Now all the molecular systematics and cellular morphology supports this theory that green algae and plants are closely related. Now, when we talk about the unicellular examples of green algae, Clamidomonas is the very best example. As you can see on the screen, we have Clamidomonas. It is, uh, the green algae is divided into two main groups, the carophytes and the chlorophytes. The chlorophytes, that includes algae, which is mostly related to plants, while chlorophyte includes more than 7,000 species which live in fresh water, in marine water, and some in the terrestrial environment. The simplest of the chlorophytes is unicellular organism, which is called Clamidomonas. Now, when we talk about red al algae, red algae has about 6,000 known species. They are all photosynthetic, and the pigment they contain is called phycoerythrin. This phycoerythrin, um, gives them a red color as well as it helps them in the photosynthesis in preparation of their own food. Now, red algae is found abundant in the warm waters, especially in the marine waters of tropical oceans. Now, some of their photosynthetic pigments, including phycoerythrin, allows them to absorb blue and green light, which penetrates relatively far inside the water. Now, some of the red algae are important source of food, just like labor and dulls. We can see they are the important source of food in the countries which lives near the coastal areas. Now, industrially, Irish moss is used as gelatin substitute in uh, different uh, food items like puddings, in uh, toothpaste, in ice creams, and in different preservatives. Agar, which is a gelatin-like substance, which is important part of the bacterial media preparations that is also prepared from red algae. So this red algae make up important source of economy in different areas like in food and some other items as well.